Erev Tov Kahal Nechbar, the Tada Al Hashtat Brit Batekas Hamerka Zishala Kahila. It is our pleasure to welcome you tonight to our annual Yoma Atzma'u Yoma Zikaron commemoration ceremony. While we hope that we would be back in person with you, we are honored to have the community join together for this special evening. Yom HaZikaron reminds us that having the State of Israel does not come without sacrifice, that our homeland is not given on a Magish HaKesef, or a silver platter, that we have a homeland because there were and are those who are willing to place their lives on the line so that we can benefit. As we and all of Am Yisrael conclude a day of remembrance and mourning for the many brave men and women who gave their lives for the creation and continued protection of the State of Israel and those who lost their lives in the countless terror attacks, we ask you to join us for a moment of silence to honor those lost. Please rise as we lower the flag and listen to the wail of the air raid siren. We will then recite the Kel Malay Rachamim. Prayer for the members of the IDF. El Malay Rachamim, Shochein Bamromim, Amitse Menucha Nechona, Alakan Fehash Hina, Bimalot Kidoshim, Utehorim, Kizorakia Mazirim, Linishmot. Chayalei Tzva Hagana Yisrael, Asher Masu Nafsham, Al Kiddushat Hashem, V'al Kibush Aretz. Bala Rachamim, Yastirem Besetek Nafav Leolamim, V'yitzro Betzoch Haim Ed Nishmoteihem, Adonai Unachalatam, Began Eden Tehem Menuchatam, V'anucho b'shalom ha'mishkevotam, v'nomar, amen. Take a moment to open the small bag that was sent home with our students. Inside, you will find a candle and a bio of a fallen chayal. Take a moment with your family to light the candle in their memory and read the bio together. There are also some discussion questions for younger children as well. We will take a few moments to reflect and memorialize our fallen brothers and sisters.
Tonight, we are focusing on events that took place in Israel 20 years ago. 2001, the year of the Second Intifada, was a year that brought us pain and sadness. The greater DC Jewish community felt the impact of that year on a deeper level. One of the victims we will honor tonight is Kobe Mandel. His family lived in Kent Mill until their, until their Aliyah in 1996. Kobe and his friend Yosef uh, got up in the morning uh, and instead of going to school, they walked around the outside of our community, down a long, steep uh, dirt road um, and proceeded to do what they thought would be to spend the day exploring this beautiful canyon. This is called uh, Canyon Tekoa or Canyon Charitun. Sometime around 10 o'clock in the morning, according to the police, the boys were trapped in a small cave by four or five Palestinian terrorists and beaten to death with boulders. It was a very brutal crime. There was uh, blood on the walls. The boys were uh, 
identified by their dental records. It was a horrible, horrible thing. We, Sherry and I, didn't know anything would happen. Sherry uh, fell to the ground. I went over and I, I kicked a chair and she looked up at me and she said, how are we gonna get through this? And I said, we're gonna get through this because we have three other children. And we're not gonna allow the people who have destroyed Kobe's life to destroy their lives as well. Kobe was a really fun person. He loved um, baseball cards and he loved watching football. He was very smart. He loved telling jokes and he, um, I just love being with him. I, I feel like he was like the king of the family and he was like the captain of the other kids because he was the oldest. So he just had a lot of energy and a lot of love for everybody. And so, you know, when he was murdered, it was like a big light went out from the family. After Kobe was killed, it really felt like we wanted to keep his spirit alive. We really wanted to honor him. And we got the idea to do a camp for kids because there wasn't, such a thing didn't exist in Israel. And we wanted it to be something that would be a living, happy memorial for him and for Yosef. So a year after he was killed, we started Camp Kobe. We realized that uh, our children were not getting the kind of support they needed as young people who had lost their brother to terror. So we created the Camp Kobe uh, for children who lost immediate family members to terror um, or tragedy. And uh, we continue until this day, and every time we walk into the camp and there's a sign that says uh, the Kobe Mandel Foundation or Camp Kobe and Yosef, then it really reminds us what we're doing there. It's really a healing process because we know that people will come in um, and see again that uh, there is in fact life after death and that things can be turned from a horrible tragedy into something that can help others. This is tw Kobe's 20th York site and in Hebrew 20 is kaf which means hand and I feel that after Kobe's murder people were so loving and giving to us in our community, in Israel, from all around the world, and that they gave us the ability to give. And that in life you can go around with an open hand or a closed hand. And I would love for Kobe's legacy to be an open hand, a generous heart, and a generous spirit. And that people feel that they are more giving and more loving because of, of COVID. I light this candle in memory of Shalhevet Pas and all other babies and toddlers who innocently lost their lives as victims of terror. Yehi Zichram Baruch. I light this candle in honor and memory of Shoshana Greenbaum and for all the victims of the Sparrow Pizza bombing in Yerushalayim. Yehi Zichram Baruch. I light this candle in honor and memory of Kobe Mandel and Yossi Ishran and all other youth and teens who lost their lives as victims of terror. Yehi Zichram Baruch. I light this candle in honor and memory of Sarah Blaustein and all other Olim who lost their lives as victims of terror. Yehi Zichram Baruch. I light this candle in honor of Ilya Gutman and all the victims of terror at the Dolphinarium Club in Tel Aviv. Yehi Zichram Baruch. I light this candle in honor and memory of Barak Minman and all other Chayalim who lost their lives for the protection of Eretz Yisrael. Yehi Zechram Baruch. Yehi Zechram Baruch. Please rise as we recite the Tefillah for the Chayalim.
Mi Shibayrach Avotinu, Abraham Yitzhak Veyakov, Kui Barech et Chaylei Tzva Ganal Yisrael Benche Kocho HaBitachon, Vamdim Al Mishmar Atzeinu Barei Eloheinu, Mikvo Halvanon, Ve'ad Midbar Mitzrayim, Umin Hayam HaGadol Ve'ad Alvo HaOrva, Bechol Makom Shehem, Abayi Vashav Avir Bayam, Yitain Adonai Leinu Oivinu HaKamim Alinu Nigafim Lifnehem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hu Yishmar Vitzalim Et Chaylenu, a Mikol Sarab Tzka Mikol Negel Machala, Mishlach Rachav Atzachal B'Chol Masei Yedehem, Bidaber Soninu Tachtehem, Betar Ba'atrehem, Ba'keter Yeshua, Ba'ater Nitzachon, Dikem Bahem Hakatu, Ki Adonai Lechem, Haroholech Yimachem Yilachem Lachem, Ki Oivechem Lashiachem, Benomar Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. From a programming perspective, but even more so from an emotional perspective, it's always strange to shift from mourning to celebrating. How are we supposed to make this switch so instantly while still feeling like we're being fully present and authentic? Someone recently shared a beautiful thought with me. We're Jews. A Jew, an Ivri, comes from the root of Lavor, to shift, to cross over. Our history is filled with moves we've had to make each one with a painful memory, followed by triumph and prosperity. We crossed over the Red Sea together with the dream of a better life. This journey was not just a physical one, it was a spiritual and emotional one as well. It was a shift of our own mindsets and the way that we saw ourselves, from a group of individual slaves to a nation united with a common purpose. We live and observe with these seemingly conflicting emotions because they're not in conflict at all. We all know that in order to fully appreciate we must remember the things we went through. To dedicate our lives fully to something, we must memorialize the people that gave their lives to get us to it. To fully dream of a better future, we must remember the past. This moment is bigger than the break in the program. It's a journey that we take together as a Jewish community and as a people. And when we do, we emerge stronger. So please join me in crossing over together tonight. Join me in living up to our name as an Ivory. Thank you, Rabbi Kastan. Hatikva. This word means hope. It also signifies the hopes and dreams of the Jewish people for over 2,000 years. Od lo avda tikva Yet our hope has not been lost. We stand on the shoulders of the generations before us who fought for the dream that would one day become the state of Israel. We honor and continue their hopes and dreams and plan for a peaceful and beautiful future. We look beyond this last year a year that presented us with darkness, challenges, and pain. And yet, oh, lo, abda, tiflati. We see the sun rising over the horizon and imagine a bright future within our grasp.